Hello, welcome back in another sheet metal workshop and this time it's about flattening the pipe. So if you have never flattened a pipe before, well this video could help you and I'm going to show in this video how to do it. So I would say let's get started. Okay, now the first thing what we are going to find out is if we want to flat a pipe we need some information and I'm going to write down those information. So we're going to flat, we have here a diameter of 200 millimeter and we're going to flat 30 millimeter. Now if this is my circle and I want to flat it here and I want to have a seam over here, that means the seam is exactly in the middle upper side of the flat. Now I have here a piece of metal, this is, I already cut out before, circumference with overlap we have here 658 millimeters, so that is the circumference of 200 diameter including overlap. Okay, now, first what we are going to do is, we're going to find out how much uh, the difference is between the flat and the circle. So this here, point, from here to here is the flat, and from here to here is the outside circle length, and that is what we are going to find out. So. I'm just going to pull a line so I have here 30 millimeters 30 millimeters so I'm going to pull here the 30 millimeters flat and now I'm going to make a circle diameter 200 so that's got a radius of 100 so I'm gonna put here on the 1 and on the 11 so I have here exactly hundred. So now I'm gonna put this on the line here <clears throat> now to measure up this time we are going to see how much the flat is so I have here a, a flexible ruler so this is here if we're going to see it we have here exactly 71 millimeter that's a flat part 71 millimeter that is from here till here and now we're going to measure up the bow the circle part and that is so I'm gonna put it here on 10 because it's easier to bow it bend it and then we have here exactly 80 millimeters so I don't know if it is possible to see from 10 80 millimeters so that I'm gonna write down 80 millimeters from here till the middle so that means I have a difference for a half flat 
a difference of nine millimeter. So that's the information first I want to need. Okay, now we're going to continue. Now this part, this is uh, how much is this? This is 120. So I'm going to make first. What I'm going to make is uh, a triangle a triangle method crossover from round to flat with a length of 120 millimeter. And after that, we're going to make a flat. And then we're gonna put on this piece and to see if everything fits. Now we, because the seam is exactly, here's the seam and we wanna make the flat exactly on the other side of the seam. So that means in the middle, I have to find a middle. This is still the original circumference of diameter 200 plus overlap. So I'm gonna, Make here, find out the middle, and I'm going to put a diagonal. So, this is the middle line of my diagonal of, of this. Part. And now I'm gonna put here the 80 millimeter from the radius of the circle, 80 millimeter left. And 80 millimeter right. And of course, we're going to pull those lines down on the 90 degrees. So, we have now marked this half circle. So, this goes like, like this. See? Okay, now I'm going to put this metal here because it's the same metal from the same sheet. Mark here the middle line again. Just going to copy it over. And now, these 71 millimeters I'm going to use. I'm going to take this ruler, maybe you can see better, so 71 millimeter here and 71 millimeter on the other side and I'm going to pull those both lines up So this is the flattening part. So this should be if I pull those lines here from the flattening, both sides. This should be the same as you can see. You see here this line, middle line and here, that's the flat part. Okay, now the triangle method is coming. So we keep the middle line on the middle. We have still the same circumference of the part we want the triangle on the flat and the original size of the diameter or circumference of 200. So now here, this middle line here, I'm gonna mark it and then I'm gonna Pull this line on this line. What here I've marked it, so I'm gonna go a little bit down here, yeah, and now we have it, okay.
and from the middle here we go and we're gonna mark this and this is this should be those nine millimeter difference we had before because uh, they are those nine millimeter so here yeah, you can maybe it's hard to see but it is nine millimeter so we're gonna just mark it here now we're gonna hold this middle center and we're gonna move this part to this line just like that and we're gonna mark this also so well, well it's almost done now we're gonna just connect here these lines and the triangle method is because what well, we have here a triangle first we're gonna here connect this line with those what we marked before and we also on the other side and then this is the middle point we go here and there is the triangle we are gonna see it is, that's also why we call it the triangle method, triangulation. So now this is my part of triangulation because well I know I, this is 80 millimeters so I could do every 10 millimeter And here also, doesn't have to do it, but just going to show it. Now, you can pull over those lines and by bending these. To make a flattening triangulation by triangle method. Okay, I'm going to cut it out. These I'm gonna cut off those lines here. Okay, I have four 50 millimeter overlap, so I'm gonna mark this 50 millimeter and 25 millimeter from each side. Take the puncher. Okay, now the next thing is what we're going to do. You can do round, you can round this in the rounding machine, or you can take each line on the bending machine. And in this video, I decided to make each line on the bending machine. <coughs> and we're going to do this here on the big bending machine because. Well, it's for me easier on this one. So now I'm, I'm just going to here pull this a little bit up. And now I'm going to press this. Maybe a little bit more up and then. So now we have here almost the crossover almost looks like a square to round but it isn't just round to flat so now we're going to put here a swage and we do the rest on the rounding machine therefore we go here on the rounding machine can do both sides doesn't matter I always do both sides so the fitter can decide which switch he needs from the side of the seam 
And now we're going to the rounding machine. <coughs> I'm going to move it here a little bit, like this. Now back. Same thing, other side. Go around until it's here, this corner here. And then just move it and go back. <coughs> Maybe a little bit more. Now you just need a little half. Flatten crossover is almost done. So we're going to put in a mill switch in it. And a female switch, but before I'm gonna put in a female switch, I'm just gonna cut here just a little bit. It's just a little bit to cut exactly there where the line is. See. Now you see because I cut it you can a little bit make it more in form so you have exactly there where you want it. So let's see if this part fits. Okay, now that's done. So we made now the crossover. Suppose the pipe goes up, and now we have to make the flattening part. And then it continues, the pipe continues. So the flattening part I'm gonna make 200 plus flattening 30 millimeters and swage allowance, so I'm gonna cut a part of a 240 millimeter. I'm gonna cut now 240 and we're gonna reduce the size. This one is flatter, the flatted part. So we have the difference. Now we're coming up here to these nine millimeter difference. The nine millimeters difference is only for a half of the flattening part. So that means we have nine millimeter on the left side and we have nine millimeter on the right side. So we have here 18 millimeters to reduce this metal. So I'm gonna shorten this metal by 18 millimeter.
Well, this is what I call balance. Going back to the table. So now again, we're gonna make a diagonal. Find out the middle. So the flattening part is 71 millimeter. 71. So I, I mentioned before I want to have a part of 200 plus 20 millimeters for the half moon. That means I'm going here 20 millimeters, but we have also got uh, how you call that uh, allowances for the swage allowance exactly so I'm gonna give him here 32 millimeter 32 I give only two millimeter swage allowance you can also always give more if you want or less doesn't matter this is just an example. That means a hundred and two millimeter I need. So I'm having here on one plus ten is eleven and two millimeters. Okay. So now I'm gonna hold it on this line here. Yeah, it's more because it isn't exactly 100 because of the swage allowance. So if I do exactly 100, you will see here now. With the swage allowance, eh? so it's just about the swage allowance, nothing more. Okay, now this is my part now, what I'm gonna need. So, again, 15 millimeter I have on each side overlap, so I'm gonna. So now I'm gonna put this here on 32 millimeter. It's 30, it's with a flat, but I gave two millimeters swage allowance, and now put this here on. That's one side. So I can see here how much I have to cut until the hole. This house look like. So the next thing, what comes is we're gonna cut this out by hand. Now, if you want to know how much degree we have to bend it, I mean, I always, as a standard, uh, bend those flat things always to 90 degree. But if you have a degree ruler, so this should be, well, here we see here 56, 56 degree bending. 
56 degree, but we always bend a little bit more, so it's 60 degree what we're going to bend. Therefore, we go to the bending machine. Again here. Now I pay the ruler of degrees. So 60 degree is here. Once and second time. Next part is we're going to put in the switch and round this part. And then go here to the rounding machine. Now you go back, okay, so this needs a little bit more. Put in some screws. And now it looks like this here. So the only thing is what is left is we're gonna bend that part down. Can do it on this machine. I'm gonna just hold it. Right, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer so you can see it better. So I'm just gonna put this line on the outside of this line. Push it under. Okay, now, as you can see, it looks like this. We're almost done. So, we're gonna connect now this part with this one. So, here's gonna be a male swage, and we're gonna put here on a female swage. Here again, a little bit press it here to get it back in form.
Okay, wait a minute. First this one. Maybe a little bit with the So, well this is then what we wanted to show, flat the pipe goes, triangle crossover comes and then the flat thing comes and then the pipe continues, so if the pipe continues, I'm just going to show the other side. And then it look like this. So the pipe comes from down under and then here you have a half moon and that was flattening the pipe. Okay, well that is it for today, flattening the pipe. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned much about it. If not, well maybe next time. Maybe you already knew this old, old stuff, but there are also people watching who didn't knew about this. So good luck. But she's not working. See you next time.